Hello, I'm Casey Gray, pinnacle of evolutionary design, and I'm here to tell you in 90 seconds about Warhammer 40k's first tyrannic war. When the Tyranids first showed up in the galaxy, humanity was utterly unprepared for how hard they were about to get wrecked. The sacrifice of Inquisitor Cryptman gave them a couple of weeks notice that the bugs were on their way, and Marnius Kelgar, who was in charge of the Ultramarines until Gilliman came back, figured he had a pretty solid defensive strategy, as he rallied several fleets to the defense of the world known as McCrag. This resulted in wave after wave of casualties, as Kalgar lost marines, human auxiliary, and everything from Baneblades to Titans. Just when it seemed like he might have a handle on the situation, the High Fleet decided it was time to send in a Swarm Lord, which meant that all of a sudden, the Tyranids could use tactics instead of just swarming forward with mindless ferocity. The Swarm Lord wasn't just a tactician though, and was happy to get its hands dirty when it casually strolled up to 1v1 Kalgar and ruined his body as easily as it had ruined his plans. Through the heroic sacrifice of some less famous Ultramarines, they rescued the pieces of their chapter master and retreated back into space, where their stoic leader was glued back together. Being torn in half made it personal, so Kalgar decided to toss the irreplaceable and unspeakably valuable Emperor-class ship, the Dominus Astra, into the middle of the Hive Fleet like a hand grenade, and then blew it up. With that, the first Tyrannic War was done, and the Tyranids never bothered anyone ever again. Protect your world from the Tyranid Scourge by hitting the like button.